Alright, shut up uh, today I'm in a video. So yes, today I'm going to be talking about um, a new stadium name, uh, a certain subscription service coming back, and imminent keeper. So yeah, let's get into the video. So yes, of course today I'm going to be talking about um, three things that have happened the last, I'd say week-ish. Um, of course, the first um, bit of them free and we'll talk about is the new um provider we've got with what is it telecom like telecommunications whatever they are I forgot what they call but we were um we've got a telecoms partner because we're, we're partnering with a telecom telecoms provider who of course will provide for the for like a, i'm guessing a streaming service which of course is brought to attention by the bolton news which of course published that um of course, from uh, the fucking what is it, CEO, or whatever it is, Bolton. I've got his bloody name, um, but um, he said that Wonders TV could be coming back. So that's the um, thing. Uh, Wonders TV is going to be coming back. Um, yeah. Um, so that's that's really good news, considering that I thought that was like the worst tomorrow. It's like a tenner for. Bloody, to tell me for bloody what to watch it and all that, and it's a waste of money. To tell me I won't see again, it's just crap. So I think we'll be getting our subscription back after what ten years. Wonder TV is coming back. That's good, of course, because that because I think that means also a a a, um, a a rebuild with the the website as well. Of course, the the website will be changing. Of course, the the whole like template will be changing and all that, the website, there'll be the new things and all that, so it'd be like Wondrous TV coming back, wouldn't it? Um of course not Wondrous TV for quite for quite a bit now. Um of course before you used to have before Wondrous TV used to have touchline television, you know we done the videos and all that. and then of course before it was Rod with a video, you know, Dave Higson and all the crew, you know the 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 and Park days and all that, so yeah. So, uh, yeah, and of course it'll be in, um, in full focus from next season, so from next season we'll be having Wanderers TV on, so that's good, and let's move on to the next subject. So of course, um, the next subject will be, um, that of course Ian Everett and Chris Markham and all these kind of crew uh, of course looking to another keeper um of course Trafford because Trafford won't be here um next season so um now in the summer um well not in now well in the summer um you know even now they're looking for keepers and this map I'll talk about planning for the future planning for the plan ahead for the future I've been doing a bit of planning ahead for the future as well of course um with Two keepers, uh, two names I've actually uh, looked up really. Like yesterday, really, I was just looking through keepers and all that, and, you know, on transfer marks and you know, looking at Prem because I think Everett will go down that likely route of getting keepers from Prem clubs, loaning them. Um, so, therefore, I actually looked at two names who would who would be really good keepers to get. Um, they're both from the same club. It's Cal Hine and Arthur Conquo from Arsenal. Both of them from Arsenal, of course. One of the one of the two, Cal Hine plays for um, a Stony national team as well, so that would do good for his potential and his career if he got loaned out to a side in the championship and do and playing you know first team football, being number one keeper. And then of course we've got Oconco who's been at Arsenal for a little bit. Um, I was I think I did mention him like last for last summer, summer twenty twenty two, so. No, it was no, it might was, yeah, summer. It was summer twenty two, I think. Uh, so yeah, them two keepers. I'm thinking we could get one of them. Um, of course, if you get promoted, it'd be even better. If you got promoted to the championship, it'd be honestly be even better. It'd be magnificent. Um, but I think even if we don't, we definitely need a keeper. Keepers number one priority for the summer for next season. Like you know how I'm bloody. Thinking, oh, the general chance to finish. I'm just, I'm thinking for next season, but in a way, 
Like, of course, season's not finished, but in a way, I'm thinking for next season because we're in the playoffs now. Uh, we've just played Cheltenham um, yesterday, first game of February. There's what a few months left. Um, really, realistically, I see just getting playoffs. I don't. People say we'll get it automatic. I don't think we will. Automatic is, I'd say, unlikely in my book. But people say no, oh, we could get automatic, but. No, I don't think we would. Fitz just can't get automatic, the fucking we can't. I don't see us getting automatic. I really don't. And we've got Peterborough next Saturday. I'd say tough, but we could beat them. They're beatable, we can beat them. We dominate against them. Um, yeah, so of course, because they're already looking for new keepers now. So it'll be very interesting to see who we get in, but I've just said two names. That would. Again, be really cracking players if we can get him in high and And um yeah. Let's go move on to the next subject. And now to another to the last subject of the video last topic, which is another important one, which is the stadium. Now the name so the stadium will be called something different next season. Of course, there'll be a name change from July 1st, so that'll be very interesting to see how it is, because it's been called Uniball since, what, 2017? Before that, it was Macron, and then, of course, before that, it was Reebok, and, yeah. So, very interested to see what the name will be. Um, I don't think I've heard any reports of who he'd get. I don't think... Like, I hope it's like a suitable name, like, so I hope it's not any of the cars past this stadium or anything like that, I hope it ain't my heart. Because <laughs> that would just be like, comic comedic in a way, because if you're going to get, if you're going to call a stadium something different, it's got to be a suitable name. And plus, not only that, you got the, next season you've also got, because if you get promoted, it'd be proper because you have to look for keepers, because keepers would be a priority, get, I think maybe even, uh, a striker, midfielder, left-sided player. You got this wondrous TV coming up. You've got new sponsors as well. Because not only for the stadium, but of course it's a sponsor for the front of the shirt. Because we want to service my car, so we'd have something else. <sighs> Again, cars passes would be pretty good. We could even maybe even get fucking Bolton News. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We did. We had. You did use of the Bolton News as a sponsor in the early eighties, but. That was when it was called Bolton Evening News, it was BEN. But, I'd honestly say sponsors would be, well, like, sponsors in the front of the shirt probably would be, like, like a, um, like a, maybe a Cars Passes or a Bolton News. Um, but of course, that'll be happening next season as well as the stadium, uh, name, stadium name change, so. I just hope the stadium name is um, suitable, um, because we've had because people now even still call it the Reebok, so it's just, but it's just again it's down to sponsors and it. Fuck knows who we'd get on the front of the shirt and on the bloody stadium name. Oh, we get um, good sponsor, and yeah. <coughs> so that's about it. That's in the video. So please leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications to make sure you're notified for my next post. We also found subscribers, so please drop your like buttons, big subscribe button, and yeah. Peace out.